I'm Teresa Shields, an artist living and working in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. My studio is on the third floor of my 100 plus year old home, and we have a modern 12 year old edition on the back of the house that was in itself a giant art project. My third floor studio opens onto a roof deck where I can contemplate my art and exercise. My martial arts training has led me to mace flow, rope flow, and any functional movement training. Seedbed is the title of my piece in this show at the Hunterton Museum. It's about four feet long and eight inches deep. The, po the pods are individually wet felted hollow forms based on the maple seed. I like to work an idea to exhaustion, which is something I learned at Carnegie Mellon in my freshman design class taught by Professor Doug Pickering. There is always room for playfulness and humor in my work. I was playing with the pods in my studio and posting on Instagram, and the feedback that I received encouraged me to explore making the pods into necklaces. I participate in one craft sale a year, but during the pandemic, the sale was canceled. This show provided me with my seed money for future projects, so I decided to take to social media to drum up some sales for the year, and the theme was purchase a pod, plant the seed of creativity. These are some examples of my humorous Instagram posts to generate sales that year. In 2021, I did a residency through In Liquid with the Philadelphia Horticultural Society at Meadowbrook Farm, and my pods had a fabulous time while they were there. These are some more examples of the work that I did while I was doing that residency. This was another residency that I did um, at the Abington Art Center in 2016. It was my first big installation, and I am including it here because it is a signpost for my next big project using large wood panels and magnetic pegs. My embroideries are straightforward. I proceed very deliberately, one stitch and then another, each knot, each color a decision, meditative and slow, but always moving forward. I rarely rip out stitches. My felt making is the opposite of straightforward. It is two steps ahead and one step backwards. The problem child. The art that acts out but is loved unconditionally. I have a quirky sense of humor that occasionally shows, but also love making things that are simply beautiful. Craftsmanship matters to me. Sometimes I set difficult parameters for myself just because. The challenge is to make things that show my hand, my skill, my vision. <laughs>